welcome to my channel. My name is Emily and today I'm going to be walking you through as I decorate my fireplace mantle with this garland. So I am just going to walk you through step by step through the process I take of decorating our fireplace and our mantle and decorating the garland to match the rest of our Christmas decor and um, complement the tree which is right next to it. So my last video was a decorate the Christmas tree with me. It was not this red look. That one I posted last year so I will link those both down below. And my next video should be a decorate with me Christmas style. So stay tuned for lots more Christmas content. Let's go ahead and get started on this fireplace. So this is a King of Christmas flocked garland that matches our King of Christmas flocked Christmas tree. I will link them both down below. Um, the first thing I did was get it out of the box, get it fluffed and get it shaped for our fireplace. So that's kind of a messy, like not that interesting process. So I didn't film it, um, but I have it set like I want and I put my stocking hooks out so that I know to decorate around them because that's where the stockings will be. And the first thing I'm going to do next is put the larger items that we're going to anchor the garland with. The next thing I'm going to do is I am going to spread these red berry picks throughout the garland. Um, we use the same red berry picks on my tree. I love how they add a pop to the white flock. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and disperse these throughout. First, the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to add some ribbon. So I have two different kinds. I haven't decided if I'm going to use both. Um, I don't have any more of the ribbon that's on the Christmas tree. My intent was to get more, but we are currently in lockdown where I live. So all the stores are closed. So I'm just going to make do with what I have. Um, the ribbon on my Christmas tree is a red and white stripe. Um, so I have some red ribbon and some white ribbon. So I'm going to see what we can do. This is one of the ways I show you that you can use ribbon in my ribbon videos, which I'll link down below if you need that. But it's super simple to just take strips like this and make them into like faux bows. You just literally make two loops and kind of grab it by the end and tuck it in wherever you want. So it's really pretty, it gives a bow effect. And then you can just tuck it in wherever you want it. Next thing I'm going to do is add some red sparkly ornament. Um, you can add ornaments to a garland just like you would a Christmas tree. I'm using Christmas tree hooks. You just might have to wrap them around so that they stay in the place that you want positioned the way you want, but you can definitely add them just like a Christmas tree. And you can add specialty ornaments to your garland too. Sometimes we do add our specialty ornaments up here because we don't put them on the tree right now because we have a two-year-old. So this is another um, trick that you can add some of your specialty ornaments up here if you're trying to keep them away from young kids.
normally at this point I would add some more things to the garland. However, I am with it not being too um, cluttered. So I'm going to hang up the stockings now and see what I think of the look um, without anything else in the garland. Um, I might I might go back and add some things. We will see. I actually got these new stockings at Hobby Lobby this year because they were on sale and I just thought they were perfect. Um, and I wanted us all to have matching stockings. So I, they're just white, like felt, they're so soft. And they have these little jingle bells. And then I added these little bows to each one just to add a little something. And I also have a name tag that I'm gonna hang here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hang these up. The thing I love about these stockings is they lay perfectly. The old stockings that we had, I had to stuff them and weight them just to get them to stay um, facing forward on the mantle and these just lay perfectly and hang there beautifully. So that's part of why I like them so much. with how the garland looks. I'm just going to add some finishing touches to the bottom of the fireplace. I'm going to use this Merry Christmas truck pillow and I'm just going to put it here in the corner. I also have this really pretty sled that I'm going to place right here. Um, my son let me know that I need to get a Santa to put inside so I guess I'll be looking for that um, to add. <laughs> Well, I guess I went ahead and kept things a little bit more simple this year on the garland, but like I said, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I feel like certain things I'm trying to tone down, other things I am kicking up a little bit. Um, I just want to balance out all my decor. I want it to be super comfortable and livable. Like I said, we have a toddler and we are at home all the time right now, so I want to make sure we have the most like comfortable, functional house as possible for the holidays while still bringing that like beautiful Christmas spirit that the decor brings. enjoyed walking through decorating this mantle with me step by step and I hope you will stay tuned for the next video where I will finish decorating the rest of my downstairs and take you along show you clips of us decorating the tree decorating the mantle and every other part of our downstairs so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one Bye.